Hello everyone and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about leg circulation and in the live I've invited everybody to be creative and so I'm not just going to present one th single flow but I would really like us to work together and we're posting this on YouTube so in the comments you can also put your thoughts. It's very important that we understand why we have poor circulation. Is it because energy is not ascending properly? Because energy is not descending properly? Uh, which toe does it come from? Uh, does it come from the lower back or from our groin area? It's also very important that our shoulders are relaxed. So I'm inviting everyone to first uh, open up our 11s. The, what we call the toe flows, they begin in the toes and they come up through our 11s. So it's a very good place to start when we want to have uh, good circulation in the legs. So yeah, you can take a few breaths here and just see what's going on in your 11s. If there's any fullness and tightness and then just stay on that till it's starting to open up. And then let's... Um, place one hand on the 11 that feels tighter to you and then we're going to place the other hand in the groin of course 15 safety energy location 15 is important for leg circulation because it allows the energy to descend into the leg 15 is also uh, important for blood circulation and that could be the cause of poor circulation uh, in the legs. So 11 and 15 uh, is a very important hold for, for all the circulation to bring the energy down and so that it can come up from the toes. So now let's take our hand from the 11. So we're just going to bounce around a little bit today and see what feels good for you and see what makes sense to you, what's going on in your body, uh, starting to know these locations. So how does this 15 feel to you? Is it more tender, closer to the center? Or is, it, is it more, does it feel better to slide out onto the more lateral side of the groin or the hip area? Um, of course, this hold is also dynamic for hip projects. And the 11s help the hip and 15 as well so 11 and 15 is dynamic and of course the hip is <laughs> attached the legs are attached to the hips so uh, this is a powerful hold to get our leg circulation moving so now we're going to place one hand on our 15 and the other hand on the two so two a safety energy location two helps energy to ascend helps the energy to move out of the legs while um, 15 helps to descending energy helping the energy to move down so if we open that up the front and the back right here at the hip that's going to help um, poor circulation in the legs and feet this would also be great for for swollen feet um, to helping the descending energy and the ascending. And then we're going to leave our hand on the two and we're going to take our hand and place it on safety energy location number one. So if you're on the right side of the body, you're helping energy to ascend, to move up. If you're on the left side of your locations, then you're helping energy to descend. So uh, again, Observe where you went naturally and that tells you what you need. Um, we naturally go where we need to be. So it's very important to listen to that and don't overthink it and like, well, maybe I need to do the other side. No, go where you want to go first. That's very important. So also explore the one. There's all these different energy lines that move through the one. So this is a one. This is one, this is one, and then of course we also have high one. So really see what feels good to you. Really, you are the artist in the art of Jinshan. 
mean the name says it's already it's an art so be creative with it and find out what works best for you um, we can then go to safety energy location number five which is on the inside of the ankle bone and hold that for a few breaths or however long you like and then go to big toe which is safety energy location number seven so this is a powerful little flow to get the circulation to move in the legs so we have 15 and 2 2 and 1 2 and 5 and 2 and 7 okay very very simple um, just want to share with you one more little powerful flow that I think is wonderful for circulation in the legs and also projects like a neuropathy in toes or numbness or cold feet and that's placing one hand on the tailbone here which is located at the base of the spine and you can use the back of your hand or your fingertips and then with your other hand moving through all the toes and I'm just going to ask Tanya to show how we work the toes because it can be very important really get to know um, your locations and also where the need is um, so for example if you hold a little toe you can really go here in the base check the inside check the outside the front and the back and see if there's any tenderness or tightness and then hold it there all these different parts of the toes they have different meanings maybe we'll do another uh, live stream on that so really get to understand and then hold it till it resolves and that for all the toes so hold it till the tenderness resolves go on where the tight spot is inside on the outside back or front or the tip middle tip you know getting to know your toes and so while you're holding the um, the tailbone moving through each of the toes one at a time both right and left side is dynamic so um yeah I, that that is great also a uh, very important um for the legs of course is holding the elbows actually the also holding the elbows helps the feet so you see it's a whole story um so all these holds are great for any projects in the legs be it the hip knees legs toes so keep exploring um, the art of jinshin be creative with it and as mary burmeister Bur mary burmeister is the lady who brought the art of jinshin to the united states to the west she says getting to know and help ourselves that's what it's all about and i'm really inviting you to do that so again if you have other thoughts i would love to hear them please put them in the comment box and uh, we'll re reply back to you um, be the creator be the artist and practice the art of jinshan so i'll see you all really soon bye <laughs>